everyone. Today our topic is Dimensions of Physical Quantities Each basic measurable physical property represented by a specific symbol. Written within square brackets is called dimensions. All physical quantities can be derived as combinations of basic dimensions. The dimension of length is L. Dimension of mass is M. Dimension of time is T. Dimensions of different physical quantities. Velocity v is equal to distance by time. And its dimensions is lt minus 1. Acceleration a is equal to velocity by time. And its dimension is lt minus 2. Force is equal to mass into acceleration. And its dimension is ml. t minus 2. Similarly dimension of momentum is mlt means 1. Torque has dimension of ml squared t minus 2. And work has dimension of ml squared t minus 2. Advantages of dimensional analysis. To check the homogeneity of equation. To check the correctness of equation. We are able to show that dimensions of the quantities. Of both sides are same. This is called the principle of homogeneity of dimensions. To check the correctness of relation, v is equal to under root f multiply l by m, where v be the speed of transverse wave on a stretched string of tension f, l be its length and m is its mass. Dimensions of left-hand side is lt minus 1. Dimensions of force is mlt minus 2. Length is l. Mass is m. Put dimensions in right-hand side of equation and evaluate it. The dimensions of right-hand side is lt minus 1. Since the dimensions of both sides of the equations are same, equation is dimensionally correct. Deriving a possible formula. The success of this method for deriving a relation for a physical quantity depends on Correct guessing of various factors on which other physical quantities depends. Derive a relation for the time period of simple pendulum using dimensional analysis. The various possible factors on which the time period may depends are. Length of pendulum. Mass of bob. Angle theta which the thread makes with vertical. Acceleration due to gravity. The relation for the time period t is given by time t is proportional to m raised power a l raised power b theta raised power c and gravity raised power d put the dimension of mass length theta and gravity compare the dimensions on both side for t is 1 equal to minus 2d for mass 0 equal to a for length 0 equal to b plus d plus c minus c equating values to find value of a b c d minus 2d equal to 1 and d is equal to minus 1 by 2 a is equal to 0 c is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 by 2 substituting values of a b c and d in equation 1 time period t is equal to constant into under root l by g the numerical value of constant cannot be determined by dimensional analysis however it can be found by experiments Find the dimensions and hence the SI unit of coefficient of viscosity in the relation of Stokes' law for the drag force. 
for a spherical object of radius r. Moving with velocity v is given by f is equal to 6 pi e e t a r v. 6 pi is a number having no dimensions. Then f is equal to e e t a r v and e e t a is equal to f by r v. Put the dimensions of force, radius and velocity. The e e t a has dimensions of m l minus 1 t minus 1. The SI unit of coefficient of viscosity is kg per meter per second. The energy of photon E is equal to H into F. Find the dimensions of Planck constant H. Where F be its frequency. Planck's constant H is equal to E by F. Put dimensions of energy and frequency. The dimensions of H is ml squared t minus 1. What are the dimensions and units of gravitational constant g in the formula? f is equal to gm1 m2 by r square. Rearrange the formula for g. g is equal to fr square divided by m1 m2. Put the dimensions of force, radius and masses. Gravitational constant G has dimensions of m minus 1 L cubed T minus 2. Its SI unit is Newton meter square per kilogram square. Thanks for watching us.